if it comes to here so as we know presently we are studying types of chemical reactions is it is guys please respond so now in last class we studied a first type of reaction called as a combination reaction so now if you notice it what is the simplest form of combination reaction anybody can tell me so first type of reaction is called as sorry a plus b yeah. gives out a b a combination reaction if you notice so the first type of combination the examples of combination reaction if you take mathematical representation so a plus b will react and they will give you you can say a b or we can say c means more than two reactants two or more than two reactants will combine and they will give you only how many products one product only single product, product. single product that is called as combination reaction so now as we know these combination reaction will be classified like it will be carried out in three different ways that is what either element plus element can combine and give you the compound or compound plus compound can combine and give you the compound or we can say one element and one compound combine again they will give you compound only so what is the ultimate product in the combination reaction what will come only compound will come in the combination compound will come as product so that is what we studied in the last class i hope those who are absent yesterday you already studied uh, till here so really if you are if you are studied i will be happy if not you have to study okay so uh, let us comes to for today's class so now today's class we are going to study the second type of chemical reaction so totally i i have told you class 10 we will study five types of reactions what is the five types of reactions guys so even other reaction combination reaction that is different so other than that we will study five types of chemical reactions so that is only combination reaction second one is what decomposition reaction reaction displacement reaction double displacement oxidation and reduction oxidation and reduction coming to the second one so we'll go back to the the second type of chemical reaction that is what we can say decomposition reaction so all of you remember so even in decomposition itself we can understand even biology also you can get this word so what do you mean by decomposition anybody so simply if you want to say decomposition means splitting i can say means it is uh, if you can say like one person if he is going to make into two different parts you understand for example if you will take ab understand is a single product single reactant is going to be split into two different products that is what a plus b then that is what we used to call it as decomposition reaction do you understand guys everybody what i am saying yes so even the name indicates if you will observe decomposition means splitting or simply i can say breakdown what i can say breakdown then that is only called as decomposition reaction so remember a single compound so this ab is not a element what is this alkyl this is the compound do you understand it so single compound is going to break into a simpler substances or units so this is only ways to called as decomposition reaction so here what will happen means a single compound due to some phenomena either maybe heat or maybe electricity you understand or maybe light it will be splitting into simpler substances then that is called as decomposition reaction do you understand everybody please respond yes, sir so now if you notice it here it is exactly opposite to the combination reaction have you seen it guys please respond it is exactly opposite to the combination reaction in combination reaction is what is happening a is going to a is going to react with the b and we are going to get a single product 
called as AB. Is this or no, guys? Now, in decomposition reaction, AB is going to react, understand, and it is going to give you two different products. Then that is called as decomposition reaction. Do you understand, everybody? Yes, please respond. Yes? No. Sometimes, I noticed it. What is the combination reaction that definition? Can you speak anybody? Combination reaction definition. Single compound. Do you understand? Single compound, like, oh, sorry. Two or more elements or compounds, we can say, two or more substances react and will give you how many products, guys? Only one product. product. Yeah, only, only single product. product. Then that is called as combination reaction. But it is opposite to the decomposition reaction. Now, decomposition reaction, single reactant will react, understanding, single substance will react and will give you two or more than two substances. Do you understand, everybody? More than two substances. So basically, we'll write it A and B only, but sometimes more than that also will come. So that we will study. I will teach you some examples. Some some reactants we used to get more than three, more than two products also. So that is you have to remember. So more two or more elements come now. Yes, Bhavran. Now, so that is why we can say. Can I say it is opposite to the opposite to the combination reaction? Is it yes, guys? Please respond. Yes, please yes, respond. Sir. Yeah. So that yes, is sir. what I want to remember. So now you will notice it. All of you should remember, as I mentioned you, this all the decomposition reactions will take place with the help of heat or with the help of light or with the help of electricity, etc. Do you understand, guys? So we have to provide a, some kind of energy to carry out this reaction. Is it yes or no, guys? Yes, please, respond. We have to provide yes, heat, or we have to provide light, or we have to provide electricity, etc. So the energy absorbed may be in this form of either electricity, or maybe light, or maybe heat. So that is why you can see, if you are providing heat, then we can say one, one reaction. What is that reaction name? Can anybody say? If you are providing heat. Yes, very good, my friend. So that is why you can take, I'm not saying completely, majority of, majority of uh, decomposition reactions, majority of the decomposition reactions, we can say, what is the reactions? Anybody? See, that is what, if you will say, you will be remembering forever. If I will say, you will forget by tomorrow itself. So, majority of the decomposition reactions are what reactions, guys? They are? Endothermic reaction. Endothermic, again you are mixing the same thing. So, they are endothermic reactions. So, be very careful because they are during these reactions, the bond breaking takes place only by providing a energy like heat or light or electricity. We are providing energy. So that what will happen, guys? It is absorbing energy so that it is endothermic reactions. Do you understand, Sai? What I'm saying? Heat is absorbed, endothermic reaction. So that is you have to remember. So I can say all the decomposition reactions is just opposite to the combination reaction. Is it yes or no, guys? So decomposition reaction is opposite to the what? Opposite to the combination reaction. That is what to remember. So Single compound breaks into smaller substances is only called as decomposition reaction. So we can say AB is going to split into A plus B. So that is also by providing heat. So by providing heat means we can say, what is that guys? What is that? 
it is a decomposition reaction okay and also remember let me see somebody you tell me in this a b and a uh, a plus b who is bigger guys who is larger compound and who is smaller molecules AB is a larger compound and A plus B is smaller molecules. Smaller molecules. So, molecules means they are also compounds but they are smaller molecules. That is what. So, large compound going to decompose into smaller molecules A and B. That is what we used to call it as decomposition reaction. So, decomposition reaction will carried out by what guys energy absorbed maybe in the form of light or heat or electricity etc so that is why energy absorbed energy is absorbed during reaction that is why we can say majority of the decomposition reactions are endothermic reactions very 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 important point so also we can say decomposition reaction is opposite it is just opposite to the combination reaction understand kevin the shakti so now you can notice it here the decomposition reaction always you remember they will be again classifying into three types how many types guys they will be classifying into three types based upon the energy providing we are providing energy in the form of three ways what is the three ways guys anybody what is the three ways light 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 electricity light light we are providing in the form of electricity so that is why the decomposition reaction we will add a suffix understand so if you are providing heat it is called as thermal decomposition we are adding suffixes understand uh, uh, everybody we are going to add suffix for this based upon heat or light or electricity so which we are going to provide so that is what based upon that we will add suffix for example if we are providing electricity we will add a suffix called as electrolysis what do we should add electro lysis same way we will add pyrolysis i will say you that so pyrolysis will add same way we will add photolysis do you understand guys so like this we will add suffix based upon the energy which we are providing okay so now based upon this we are classifying into this uh, decomposition reaction into three different types so what is that guys anybody can tell me so that is only we can say first one is called as thermal decomposition reaction what is that thermal decomposition reaction second one is called as remember all of you electrolytic decomposition reaction neatly write it all of you electrolytic decomposition reaction electrolytic decomposition reaction are also we can called as what is to called guys what is to call electrolysis simply you can remember okay guys also we can called as what electrolysis and the third one is called as photo decomposition reaction photo decomposition reaction so also we can called as what guys anybody can tell me photolysis what was to call photolysis so, kindly all of you learn so decomposition reaction classifying into how many types how many types three types three, three types. types one three is based on the heat another one is based upon the light another one is based upon the what electricity electricity that is what so understand now as i i use the pyrolysis yes or no so this pyrolysis we will use a furnaces actually class 10 it is not available so it is not needed also 
So actually, like biofuels, you might be heard of biofuels, alternative fuels for fossil fuels. So manufacturing biofuels, we will use this uh, technique. So pyrolysis is the heating of organic materials, such as like biomass in the absence of oxygen. So that is called as pyrolysis, but it is not there for class 10. So I am, that is the reason I am not explaining much about this. So remember, pyrolysis is also providing heat, understanding, heating only, but uh, heating of an organic compound like biomass, okay? Organic materials, just to remember the definition alone, pyrolysis such as biomass in the absence of oxygen. Absence of oxygen. This is for NTSC and general awareness we have to remember. So this is also one type of heating providing only, but we are not going to study anything in the class 10. So that is why we don't need to bother about it. Now, our main aim is only three types. So in class 10, decomposition reaction will be classifying into three methods. So three ways. So this is what? What is that, guys? Thermal decomposition. Second one is what? Electrolytic decomposition. And third one is called as photo decomposition reaction. Clear, everybody? Read out, please. Yes, please respond. Clear? Now, let us go with the first type of reaction. What is the first type of reaction, guys? Thermal decomposition. Thermal decomposition reaction. All of you, please keep reading. So, thermal decomposition reaction. So, here itself you can understand. So, as I told you, R into N is a shortcut for reaction. You have to write full form only. You, I will write. What is this, Rohit? You are talking something, MM da, something. So, R into N indicate reaction. Those who join newly, please uh, remember. Reaction, you have to write fully. So, thermal decomposition means in the sense of we are providing what, guys? Anybody? We're providing what? Heat. Heat. That is what. So, please all of you write definition. Okay? Those reactions, those reactions in which, in which decomposition, in which the decomposition is carried out, carried out by the presence of what? Girls, nobody is opening mouth. Presence of uh, carried out Eating. by, yeah, Eating. are called, are called thermal decomposition. Thermal decomposition reaction. Is it clear everybody? Yes, please. Yes, sir. That is. Now, let us take the best example, which already we studied. So a lot of time in uh, combination reaction, so many examples I given. You can write all the examples of combination reaction in reverse manner. You will get uh, decomposition reactions, but which you have to be thermal or electro electrolytic, electrolysis or photosynthesis, sorry, photolytic, you have to remember. Because in exam, they will ask us to find under what type of reaction it is. You have to mention perfectly it is a thermal decomposition or light or heat, uh, sorry, electrolysis. That is what. So now, first example is calcium carbonate. What is the state, guys? You have to speak. I won't speak. What is the state Solid. of calcium carbonate? Solid. 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 So we are going to thermal decomposition. So what we are going to provide? We are going to provide heat. So above arrow I am writing. This is also indicating, it is also indicating exothermic or endothermic. Above arrow. Endothermic. 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 Products will get, guys. Anybody can guess? Calcium, calcium oxide. oxide calcium oxide. Calcium oxide. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Very Carbon dioxide. good. Carbon dioxide will get. Yes, yes. Calcium carbonate, also we can call it as with some name. Anybody can tell me what is that name? Quick lead. Calcium carbonate. Quick lead. 
no calcium carbonate sai be be very careful dark powder calcium carbonate dark powder is to called as limestone understanding or we can say marble everything is made up of calcium carbonate only limestone understand is going to give and give you calcium oxide by calcium oxide yeah bahadran you can give delta symbol also delta symbol also is it okay is it okay yeah. but we will write if it is a thermal decomposition write heat is it okay so calcium oxide what is to called guys quick lime quick lime quick lime i also i said simply we can called as what hello okay quick lime also we can call it lime, lime water understand lime water. that is so quick lime we can say or simply we can say lime plus this is what is called as what is this guys carbon dioxide carbon dioxide this is the first example of we can make example of what example of decomposition thermal decomposition thermal decomposition reaction so all of you write it so this is what how they produce lime from limestone do you understand in our industries lime from limestone they used to produce by this method only so whenever you are getting lime means calcium oxide everything which we are using for white washing it is usually getting from this method only do you understand everybody please respond and you remember the manufacturing unit which we will use in our industry industry for producing calcium oxide from calcium carbonate so that manufacturing unit we is to called as lime kiln lime kiln l is silent the in industrial unit process name called as lime kiln which will decompose calcium understand carbonate into calcium oxide plus ca carbon dioxide is it okay guys okay sir yeah that is that is what you have to understand everybody so what is the industry what is the which one will uh, decompose the calcium carbonate that is lime kin understand lime kin is the one which will decompose calcium carbonate into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide is it okay guys please respond everybody yes sir next go to the next example so which is a very well uh, well known example which all people knows so let us discuss that is what even our textbook also it is having some activity i think so if you are if you are having textbook i don't think so you are having textbook i will send the soft copy but uh, you have to learn it so that is a very very important reaction that is what uh, i will say the page numbers guys you have to notice it page number 8 actually the most important reaction page number 8 okay the first example of decomposition reaction given in our textbook that is what ferrous sulfate crystals decomposition of ferrous sulfate crystals do you understand everybody ferrous sulfate crystals we are saying so ferrous sulfate crystals we are going to provide now second example guys this is second example so ferrous sulfate if we we'll take so now and if we we'll start providing heat so heat means what is that guys it is decomposition yes or no please respond decomposition so it is going to give you understand so a products called as anybody can tell me products fe2o3 understand ferric oxide plus sulfur dioxide plus sulfur trioxide gas so very 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 important uh, equation at, at most most of the times this one they will ask you write the decomposition reaction of ferric oxide understand everybody so this is called as ferrous sulfate what is this called as guys ferrous Sulfate. Yes, sulfate. Everybody. So ferrous sulfate, or we can say iron sulfate also. Okay. So iron sulfate, we can say whatever it is, we are ever convenient how to make. But this one we used to call it as what we used to call it? ferric ferric oxide. oxide. Ferric oxide, and also color also I am changing. Now onwards, Sruti, are you there in meeting? Sruti, Ishali, everybody. Sruti is not there. 
सेटी गर्ल्स हु इज मिसिंग जेके जेके सो फेर फेरस सल्फेट द कलर ऑफ फेरस सल्फेट माइंड नाउ इटसेल्फ यू हैव टू गो दिस वी कैन राइट चेंज इन कलर आल्सो सो फेरस सल्फेट ऑलवेज इट विल बी हैविंग ग्रीन इन कलर व्हाट इज द कलर गाइस व्हाट इज द कलर green in color understand now if you'll we'll start heating thermal decomposition please anybody is not understanding kindly ask me what is the color of ferrous sulfate guys what is the color of ferrous sulfate green, green in color green color if we'll start decomposing heating then it will form ferric oxide the color of ferric oxide is brown color what is that brown color all of you should remember this okay so this is what you have to remember now you can see now we have to do the activity actually like we have to burn in our laboratory we have to burn the ferrous sulfate in our test tube so that activity suppose we will uh, take in our lab then how it will how it will be happening i will i will uh, teach you now so kindly observe that so now if you notice it so here basically a ferrous sulfate if it start heating it is used to produce what guys ferric oxide plus it will produce what it will produce sulfur dioxide plus sulfur trioxide clear yeah. now so how to do means this one so we have to take a dry test tube what we have to do guys we have to take a dry test tube understand so in this dry test tube we have to take the a uh, ferrous sulfate a uh, crystals i will i will show you the picture you can uh, you can understand you, you don't have textbook correct guys do you have textbook no sir no so that is why so once you will receive the textbook you can see or else is not a issue it is just a simple activity which we no need to worry that much okay so what we have to do means so we all know the test tube you all people know the test tube correct guys yes please let's go yeah so now in the test tube we have to take a dry test tube we have to keep ferrous sulfate crystals what we have to do we have to keep the ferrous sulfate crystals like this what they are showing here so we have to take textbook they are mentioning take 2 grams of ferrous sulfate feso4 you understand everybody how much are to take 2 grams of feso4 in the test tube and if we'll start heating with the help of burner understand and remember what is the color of the ferrous sulfate crystals guys what is the color of the ferrous sulfate crystals green color green color okay that is what so now next if we'll see if we'll start heating the heating then this boiling tube this is what we can say test tube or boiling tube dry boiling tube you can see the under the flame of burner then you can see the color of the crystals after heating so if you we'll, once the if you are observing the once if you start heating this color of the crystals will changes into which color guys as i told you brown which color brown, brown color brown color, brown color. Brown color. color yeah the crystals will change crystals changes the color that color will be very very important that is what it is brown color it will change so brown color changes means it is forming what it is forming ferric oxide ferric oxide and see a ferric oxide is a what is the state of ferric oxide it is the solid state understand at same time you used to notice it a gas having smell of burning sulfur understand so burning sulfur smell is like we can say waft understanding waft gas is uh, evolved towards to our nose like a uh, uh, wafting of evolution gas towards to our nose so it is uh, smell is like burning sulfur so burning sulfur smell is coming means in the sense of two gases is evolved here what is that gases guys sulfur dioxide plus sulfur trioxide so dioxide plus trioxide both are gases so how we can notice it they are producing uh, sulfur dioxide sulfur trioxide what is the smell we will get the gas is evolving but is the smell what smelling like what yeah that is what so smell is like it is a burning sulfur but here you remember do not point the mouth burning tube towards to the mouth why guys because 
it is a very uh, like it will cause us some kind of uh, uh, different feeling in our uh, in our uh, uh, mouth and uh, headache also it will because sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide is not a uh, good gases which will absorb so that is why this wafting gas uh, gently towards the nose so we can feel it it is uh, smell is coming like a burning sulfur so that is wafting in the sense of evoluting fumes are coming so that is what it is indicating okay it is indicating what it is happening it is evolution of gases so that is why so nobody should keep this gas so uh, needs a test tube mouth uh, test tube opening towards to our mouth or our nose that is what you have to remember but we will feel the smell like burning sulfur it is indicating that it is evolution of sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide is it okay everybody yes please respond yes guys yes. understand but if you notice it as i am writing the equation feso4 will gives you fe2o3 plus so2 plus so3 clear guys any doubt in this pradosh yes no doubt yeah uh, once again i want to explain durga nothing so now if you notice it here a single substance single compound is going to burn if you're going to heat then more than one product is coming more than one simple product is coming that is what we used to call as decomposition reaction so here i am taking a ferrous sulfate ferrous sulfate crystals ferrous sulfate crystals do you understand everybody and i am heating so that i am going to get a three simple products called as one is ferric oxide next one is sulfur dioxide plus one next one is sulfur trioxide so these two gases i can feel that the burning sulfur smell will come so it is indicating sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide gases are evolving and i will observe the a solid one is forming in the test tube burning test tube which will changes from which color to which color guys which will changes from green color to brown color to brown color so that is what you have to remember indicating ferric oxide is forming clear any doubt please let me know anyone clear no sir yes sir all of you should remember guys here i am taking a a uh, self uh, if you notice it i am taking here a crystals of uh, ferrous sulfate yes sir yes sir no crystals of ferrous sulfate yeah. correct one so usually i am writing only here feso4 correct guys please respond yes sir no yes, sir. but if it is the crystals remember actually it is the hydrated salt what is that hydrated salt understand so what do you mean by hydrated salt means water molecules also present what is indicating hydrated salt water molecules also present clear everybody so in the in the crystal state that is only called as hydrated salt but while you are writing the equation i am not re representing here water molecules basically ferrous sulfate is containing seven water molecules feso4 dot 7h2o it is solid state only this is called as water of crystallization we will study in the second chapter water of crystallization understand so this is with this when this amount of water present only it will be in the form of crystal state understand if water is removed then it will turns into feso4 this is called as dihydrated salt understand so this is hydrated and this is di uh, dehydrated dehydrated means no water is present no water molecules is present okay guys but here we are not writing 7h2o why means we people we are not studying presently we are not studying anything called as water of crystallization we will study in chapter 2 later we will understand that that is the reason i am not writing here feso4 dot 7h2o so because i am